Hey everyone, so I want to show you this area on my car that is like unbelievably nicked up. It just, I, I mean, honestly, I can't believe how bad this area looks. Please check this area on your own car because I don't know how everyone doesn't have this issue. I live in an area that's pretty much all paved. I don't drive on a lot of unpaved roads, yet this area is just completely abused. Take a look at this. My car has about 30,000 miles on it. And the other side is actually a little bit worse. This is bad. Um, underneath here is way worse. Luckily, that's not as easy to see when you're, you know, standing above the car. It's on a, on a downward angle, just like everything else here, including this panel. But this is not nearly as bad. This is not nearly as bad until we get to the point of the car where it starts sloping out to curve around for the wheel and tire. That's where this just takes all kinds of abuse for some reason on this car. I don't, it, it's just got to be something unique about the shape of this car because none of my other cars do I remember this looking so bad. This has been uh, cleaned and just kind of hand polished. So I'm going to show you how I use this touch up paint and this finger to fix this and then how I put PPF on it so that I don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, I finger paint. Depending on the color of your car, you may only have one or two actual paint colors and one clear coat. So this is the pearl white and they give you a base which is white and then like the pearl which is the second coat and then this is the clear coat which pretty much everybody's going to have. I think the red might also be two coats. I don't know. There's one more color that has a couple different actual colors of paint that you have to use uh, with a clear coat. Uh, some of the other ones are just, you know, one color paint, clear coat, you're done. So uh, the pearl is definitely more complicated. So I use two different methods on the sides of the car, okay? One side, I literally just used the base white coat, did my finger painting method, uh, wiped off any excess with a paper towel, put the PPF on it, all right? Pretty simple, pretty quick. The other side, I decided to do the base coat, do the pearl coat, uh, get some sandpaper, some uh, 4,000 yeah, 4, grit sandpaper, lightly sand everything, get some polish compound out, polish it all out, try to get it like as good as I could get it before I put the PPF on it. Now, that took a lot longer. That was a way more effort. Was it worth it? Well, I'll show you both and uh, you can decide. <laughs> so for PPF, there are a number of different options. Uh, two of them are pre-cut, all right? One of them is a, uh, that I've seen uh, is a small pre-cut option that you could buy. Another one is a much larger pre-cut option that you could buy, and uh, or there's what I did, which is custom. I used uh, leftover PPF from my hood that I actually didn't use any of it, so I have a lot of leftover, and uh, it's a giant sheet of Lumar. I will have uh, other options below from Amazon. And uh, I honestly, I recommend going custom and I'll show you and tell you why. So in the first part of this video, I show you my finger painting, right? First, the simple quick side and second, the much more complicated and time consuming side. After that, I'll show you how to put the PPF on. All right, so I got this touch up paint a long time ago, never used it, was gonna use it on my hood, decided to just cover it all up with uh, vinyl wrap. What this kit comes with, for this white, uh, this pearl white, is a base coat, a mid coat, they call it, and then the clear coat. So if we look at the base coat, it's really just white, okay? That's the white part. And then this is the pearl. If you can see that, it's very pearly. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to do, though, is clean this up with some uh, rubbing alcohol. Okay, wow. That looks better. I mean, you can see the difference here already. Dang, I forgot to turn the camera on, but I just painted all this here.
this is kind of disappearing. These blotches that are here were here, and now they just kind of disappeared. I have some older, really fine sandpaper, 2,000 and 4,000. Uh, they are, however, a little used. I'm going to start with the 4,000. Honestly, it, it feels pretty good. Not as good as, you know, normal paint here, but it feels pretty good, and I don't want to... This spot's a little definitely rough. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to scratch things up too much. I don't want to have to do a lot of polishing after this, but this does need to be smoothed out. Uh, I'm going to do some wet sanding very, very lightly. I mean, literally not even just letting the paper kind of, the paper kind of is sticking to the, to the surface here because of the water. And I'm just using that to, to literally sand. There's just the pressure of that alone. Because I do not have a lot of experience wet sanding Tesla paint here. And uh, from, I think, everyone's experience, this paint isn't exactly the, the thickest in the business. So I think if you start taking off clear coat, you're going to be burning through all the clear coat pretty quickly. So you can see it's really not taking much off at all, but some stuff is coming off. And yeah, wow. Yeah, it feels way smoother. All right, so that's final sanding, I think. There's a little spot here. I might sand a little bit more, but other than that, um, I'm kind of done sanding. It is not perfect, but every time um, I, I've gone through the cycle of, you know, putting more base down, putting more of the pearl down, and then sanding it, it turns out better and better. It is way better than it was before. And I was going to put a clear coat on. However, when I look at this, I'm, I don't want to put clear over this because it's, it's not perfect, okay? If I thought it was perfect, um, I would probably put clear coat on it. I'm going to put PPF on it anyway. Putting PPF on there, I, I, why put a clear coat on, on there and then put PPF on top of it? I don't really see a need. You get back a little bit and boy, it looks way better. You know, almost all of the little specks in here, the little indentations are gone. You do see some imperfections in the color. It just kind of looks a little bit blotchy. And maybe I could clear that up. The issue that I'm having is really, um, I don't have the sprays. If I had the sprays, you know, I was able to spray paint it, I could get some nice smooth coat on here, I think and uh, be good with it but uh, finger painting this and then trying to sand it down like i am it's just uh you know far from ideal but it's it's pretty good though i mean this is pretty stinking good what i'm gonna do now is you know get the buffer on here my little uh low cost buffer with some old mirror glaze really old mirror glaze and then be done with it and then throw the ppf on there Okay, after final buffing, um, happy here. You know, you still see a few little dots here and there, but otherwise way better than it was. Down here, honestly, not as much. It it smoothed it out, but it I, I, I can't say that it looks any better than if I had just kind of never buffed it. Maybe just done a little light sanding on it. I don't know. I'd have to look back now. It's hard to remember exactly how it started. However, I'm happy enough. Okay. Time to just put the PPF on here. And I think it's going to look fantastic. Um, a lot of this stuff doesn't show up as much with the PPF on it. But yeah, up here where it's more visible, it definitely looking way better. Okay. All that prep involves for this is pre-cutting this out, you know, just whatever, an inch or so extra on all sides. 
and then I have created a, a spot up here to, you know, you got to cut it off at a certain point. I'm not PPFing the whole fender here, a whole car. So what I decided to do was use this body line, kind of a continuation of it, so that maybe this kind of uh, just if it doesn't follow this line, it might be more noticeable. So I'm, I'm hoping that the line here created by the PPF will be less noticeable just because it will be a continuation of this line. So that's all that's about. And then another thing I learned from doing the other side, there's a tab in there that, that locks it up. So you just pry it down a little bit. And I plan on tucking the excess, a uh, little bit of the excess, PP up in there and then uh, pushing this back up and uh, hopefully that will not that I expect the PPF to come off but it'll just be one less edge to uh, gather dirt. I don't want to do two pieces of PPF here because anytime there's an edge it gathers dirt and I'll show video of that uh, on, on the other PPF pieces that I have so I'm trying to avoid edges really and then here uh, all all throughout here, I'm also going to be rolling the PPF into the door sill. So the only edge will be right here. Uh, also, I'm going to be rolling the edge around here because this will definitely pick up dirt here, especially, you know, there's a lot of dirt coming from both sides. You've got um, you've got dirt coming from the tire. You've got dirt coming from this side. It, all over here. This is just a, really a dirty part of the car. <laughs> So uh, I want to avoid having another edge here, which is, uh, you know, why I'm doing just this one piece. However, it is a little bit more tricky to get the PPF to stay here because we've got a we've got a bump here. All right, so that is it. Let's get started. Make sure we got everything cleaned up here. All right, this tape is helping me align this much better. I'm going to lock this top down using some tack solution, which I am just using warm water based on this one guy's video that I saw.
right, let's take a look at the final product. All PPF, and I will try to compare this right now with the before picture. But overall, we look at the main area right here, and if you look real close, you can see still like a few small little kind of grayish dots in there that uh, you know are, are from the paint but compared to what it used to be like wow way better uh, there's still a few little air pockets in here these might go away I may have to do a little bit of surgery to to kind of pop them it's just kind of how it goes with PPF uh, looking down here again a uh, little air pocket here you do see more of the little you know gray kind of repaired marks there uh, big air pocket here but yeah overall looks way better uh, this panel down here also the, the car is so low I've, I've kind of bumped this a couple times and it's it's distorted this that's why there's this extra gap there yeah success on this side so this is the side that I spent a lot of time on now let's compare it to the other side that I spent way less time on all right and here is the other side that again I did very quickly. I didn't do any of the polishing on, any of the sanding on. Let's focus on this piece here. So there are definitely some more little gray marks here. But honestly, if I had just put maybe another coat, well, I didn't even use a pearl on this side. I just used the base white coat and this is how it turned out look down here you know there's more imperfections here uh, just like the other side I've got to I've, I've got to say for the amount of time I spent on the other side you know it's not that much better if I had just spent honestly a little more time on this side I could probably get it to look the same what I had talked about before with the edges you see the dirt gathering here? That didn't take long at all, <laughs> right? There's a lot of dirt down here. So that is why, again, I highly suggest doing what I did here in folding this edge under the door. Again, custom. You got to do it custom because the other ones are pre-cut and you're going to have an edge all along here. Well, guess what that edge is going to look like? It's probably going to look like this one where you get this dirt line. And here too I wrapped it around otherwise you're going to have the cut edge all up here and guess what big dirt line so here all I have is the one edge up here which is actually stayed pretty clean and then uh, this edge here which you know from this angle it's not so bad and now I don't have to worry about this anymore taking any kind of abuse so I'm really happy with how this turned out it's fantastic